Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talk. So, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about gift cards and how one, they can save you a lot of money, but they can actually cost you more than you may realize um, in the end. The reason I say they can save you money is I was just looking at this right here. You know, you buy a $50 gift card, you get a $10 gift card free for HEB. However, there is a little hidden thing that a lot of people don't know about gift cards. So, we're going to take a walk and I will tell you a little bit about it. So I wanted to wait until I could get back in my car and uh, explain this a little bit more about what I mean by this. Um, so right here, here's a great way to save money. I mean, you look at this, you buy a $50 gift card from one of these places, you're going to get a $10 grocery gift card for free that you can use at my local grocery store. And I see deals like this all the time. Buy $50, get a $10 free. Usually. It's like if you go to Applebee's, buy a ten dollar, buy a fifty dollar Applebee's card, get a ten dollar one free. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is there's a reason they do push gift cards. I had this actually happen to me. I have for a while. I was buying gift cards. I don't mind showing this one because there is no money on it. So right here, when you look at the back of a gift card. What you're going to see is small fine print. I'm trying to zoom in as much as I can for you guys so you guys can read this. Um, basically, after 12 months, you lose $2 on every month, essentially. To me, um, that kind of seems wrong. It does say, with the exception of um, where it's by law. They can't do that. Some states have passed laws where you can't take people's money from gift cards. Not all states have done that. So essentially, you're losing $2 per every month that you have the gift card until the balance goes to zero. After 36 months, the balance will go to zero, anything you have left. So when you really think about it, if you're buying them and something happens, you misplace it for a while. Reason this came up um, after the hurricane, I had had a bunch of gift cards and they kind of got misplaced for a while. I'm always buying gift cards because I utilize the savings, like I just showed you a few minutes ago. That's a huge savings, that's 20% right there. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes you do lose. Now, this happened on this gift card. Um, I've talked to them. Uh, they're going to look into it. Ultimately, it's been two weeks now and they haven't done nothing. Um, they said they would look into it. So I'm guessing they're probably not going to do anything about it. But, I mean, the rules are wrong here. So I can't really 100% blame them. I just think it's wrong that businesses put that on there. I mean, you're giving them the money to hold for a later use. And essentially, they can slowly dwindle it down to where it's zero. Um, let me know what you guys think of this. I, I kind of wanted to point this out as it it's one of them double things. It can be a tip to save money, but it can also kick you in the butt if you're not careful with it. Um, so let me know what you guys think. It's almost like those zero balance credit cards. They, they're, they can come in handy, but they can also hit you if you're not careful. So um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, please hit that like, subscribe button. We are trying to grow our channel. And uh, I hope to hear from you guys again. Talk to you later on T-Square Talk. Bye-bye.